Hello. EU legislators are now in the process of revising ROS, the directive restricting the use of hazardous chemicals in electrical and electronic equipment. In our daily life, we use a variety of electronic devices, such as washing machines, TVs, mobile phones, and computers. Many of these electronic products contain hazardous chemicals. Of particular concern are bromelated flame retardants and PVC plastic. In this film, I will explain the scientifically recognized health and environmental concerns associated with using bromelated flame retardants and PVC in electronics. First of all, bromelated flame retardants are particularly likely to be persistent and bioaccumulative. This means they will stay in the environment for a long time and accumulate in animals and in humans. And some of them are also toxic. Some argue that these chemicals are not hazardous enough to be regulated. But during the last decade, scientists have, in an increasing number of reports, presented evidence of these negative effects caused by bromelated flame retardants. Let's listen to one of the recognized scientists. Bromelated flame retardants and also the chlorinated ones have should been regulated long ago because we know the characteristics in all major parts of these chemicals. They are persistent and bioaccumulative, many of them, not all. And of course, this is a prerequisite in order to give toxicological effects, effects in the environment in humans. So I think we are at a point where we need to look at larger groups of chemicals and trust the scientists also to give some judgments in that context. Another problem is electronic waste, which is the fastest growing waste stream in the world. For example, 10 million metric tons of electronic waste is produced in the EU alone each year. A large amount of this electronic waste is exported legally as well as illegally to developing countries. A European Commission impact assessment from 2008 shows that as much as 41% of the electronic waste collected in the EU may be improperly treated. Furthermore, when products containing brominated flame retardants or PVC are incinerated at insufficiently high temperatures, dioxins and furans can be formed. This could happen in waste management facilities, but it will for sure happen in crude open fire burning. Dioxins and furans are some of the most hazardous chemicals ever made by humans. They can cause severe health problems, for example, cancer, endocrine disruption, and birth defects. Within the recast of the EU ROS directive, Chemsec advocates restrictions on all bromelated flame retardants. Usually, when regulators restrict individual chemicals of a certain group, such as specific flame retardants, these are often replaced by similar, related chemicals that are not yet regulated, but which are similar in structure and have the same hazardous properties. This means that substitution efforts are made, but that the problems and risks remain. For example, in ROS, an important step has been taken by restricting the use of two groups of brominated flame retardants. However, in many electronic products, they have simply been replaced by other types of brominated flame retardants. Many of these products also contain PVC plastic. If we continue to produce products which contain brominated flame retardants and PVC, Toxic dioxins and furans would continue to be released into the environment when these products are incinerated at insufficiently high temperatures. Our recommendation to EU legislators is therefore to introduce restrictions on all brominated flame retardants and PVC in the recast of the ROS directive. Don't miss our last film.